Hi, my name is Georgia. I'm a proud Wurundjeri woman. I'd like to start off by acknowledging that we are meeting on Wurundjeri land and I pay my respects to my elders past, present and emerging. I'd also like to pay my respects to Sydney's elders past, present and emerging. We are interviewing Sydney for the Deadly Story website. This is a cultural website for young kids who are in out of home care so that they can stay connected to their culture and their community and their country even if they're living off of it. Yeah, uh, hey guys, I'm Sydney Stack from um, a small country town called Nulam. Babylon country, Noongar man, and yeah, age 19, I uh, played 17 games for the Richmond Footy Club. And yeah, I'm a first year player and I wear number 44 for Richmond. Where did your footy career kind of start? Like what got you into playing footy? Just grew up with the older cousins and yeah, and, um, yeah just kicking the footy on the boundary side by dad and uncles play play footy on ground and um, then went into under the nines um, in Northern, played for local bands down there and yeah just kind of went from there to to um, development squads for Perth Demons back at home in Perth. Um, yeah, it started from there really. Nice. Would you say footy is a big part of your life now? Yeah, footy footy is a big part of my life. I um, um AFL was my dream growing up, and um, yeah, it took took a while to get there, but yeah, just happy to be on the AFL list and yeah. playing good footy. Yeah, nice. So we know that you played for the Dreamtime match this year, and that you took part in the War Cry. How what was that feeling like? Um, that was absolutely amazing. It's good to get the opportunity like that and dance on the. Wurundjeri uh, country and um, yeah I got permission from the elders of the Wurundjeri country and uh, permission from my grandfather back at home yeah. and once I got that opportunity um, I believe every Aboriginal person has a strength with their culture and, yeah. and mine's dancing yeah. and um, yeah like I'm not good at painting and everything but but yeah um, once I got the opportunity to dance during time at the G I just yeah. embraced it I guess. It's an amazing opportunity I've danced previously there as well with my family. Um, so as you were saying, you've played 17 games so far, um, so you're still pretty early on in your career. How does it feel knowing that you're becoming such a well-known name and being recognised so early on? Yeah, everything. Yeah, everything's new to me this year. Um, yeah, debut and all that sort of stuff. And yeah, I just really embraced it and just living the dream. Yeah, nice. So you said you weren't drafted in that first round. Um, what did that feel like and then obviously being picked later on? Yeah, not getting drafted was pretty upset, knowing it's your dream, and yeah. was pretty upset. Cried, cried for a bit, but um, but yeah, went. My manager he messaged me and told me about Richmond and um, this new sort of rule they have. I didn't think too much of it though. I thought I was just gonna train for like two weeks. Yeah. Um, so I was with Richmond training for like three months. It was pretty stressful. Yeah. Mate, um, knowing that you're not on the list and you're still training. Um, but yeah, it got it was hard and tough, and I just wanted to make sure I put the work in and just to get on the list, tick every box, just one box at a time, and yeah, yeah, now I'm on the list, it's just amazing. What was your first game like? Um, oh, it was, that was amazing as well. Um, when, I remember the day, like clearly, like clear as day, um, I was playing darts with Daniel Rioli, and yeah. and then Damien Hardwick, the head coach, walks out and goes, Stacky, come into my office, and, and then Daniel calls out to me, he's like, Stacky, and I look back at him, and he's like, fingers crossed, eh? Walked in and then, um, yeah, that video that came out when Dima told me I was day born, um, I was just about to cry, then Jack Rewalt grabbed me and, <laughs> and um, yeah, patted me on the leg and stuff, but, but yeah, it was, it was amazing. I cried heaps and just so proud of myself and yeah. called the family and then when I was out there, it was just amazing. Like, it was just like playing any other footy game. I'd, I got hell nervous though. Yeah. Um, the couple hours before when we were leaving the hotel, I just um, I was looking in the mirror and I just started smiling. Like I couldn't stop smiling. Then um, then yeah, when we got on the ground, I just felt calm and and just embraced it really. And yeah, just loved it. So, who would you say some of your biggest role models are, both in the AFL and in the community? I mainly looked up to just Cirioli and and Eddie Betts, just the just the um, talent and skill that they bring to to the yeah. AFL game, and just watching them as a kid, like. I just thought, wow, like how how can you do that? Yeah, and they're legends. Yeah, when, once I've laid on any bets, it was like it was <laughs> it was such an honor just to play on a on a legend like Eddie and yeah, um, yeah, still in disbelief that I'm playing amongst amongst the greats like Gary Ablett and Eddie Betts and Buddy Franklin and all these yeah. big names and and yeah, I just, just love it really. Yeah, awesome. So, if you had any advice for young 
young mob who maybe want to get into footy or even just are having a rough time figuring out where they want to be or getting to where they want to be. What kind of, what would you say to them? From my own experience is just stay true to yourself and and be you and don't let anyone tell you you can't do anything you want to do. Yeah, awesome. So you were born in a small community, you weren't not from Victoria. What's it like having to leave your family and your friends and kind of what you know to come down here to follow that career path that you've chosen with the AFL? I've always wanted to get out of WA if I, if I ever was to get drafted, um, just to start a whole new life and uh, meet whole new different people and, um, and yeah, I've always wanted to get out of WA. So, so yeah, and I didn't really, I didn't live with my parents growing up. Um, I moved around quite a bit, so I'm pretty independent and yeah, moving to Melbourne I think was the best thing for me personally. Yeah. And yeah, I just love it and just love trying new things, um, meeting new people and just, um, yeah, I love the environment around Melbourne. When I first came over, I stayed with Damien Hardwick, who was the head coach. Um, yeah, and he, he gained my trust pretty quickly. Yeah. Um, yeah, we connected really well and then I moved in here with Sue and Vin. Um, yeah, and they just made me feel at home really. They're, yeah. they're really great people, um, love this family and they really made me feel at home here and I'm just happy to be be me and not, not try and be someone else or a person yeah. that I'm not. Do you think that even the Richmond Football Club as a whole like have really helped that with that, like the trust and letting you be yourself? Like is it a good community? Yeah, yeah. Um, Richmond, they're, they're really um, educated cultural wise. Um, they, they understand us culturally and, and what when we like go away for funerals and small things like that yeah. and ceremonies and they really understand so um so yeah it's great and also they embrace the person you are so yeah. I'm I'm like an I'm an annoying type of person so <laughs> I'm just walking around Richmond annoying the coach or the players <laughs> yeah. and and yeah I just really embrace who I am that's that's what the club embraces and that's what they love. Cool so to end this we might just fire off a quick few questions to you, just say the first thing that comes to your mind, just a little Sweet. fun way to end it. Easy. So, favourite food? Favourite food, pizza. Favourite place? Favourite place, uh, pools. Favourite animal? Animal, uh, dog. Colour? <laughs> Colour red. <laughs> sport? Sport, AFL. Yep. Uh, sport other than AFL? Uh, basketball. Oh, okay. Favourite car? Favourite car, Mercedes. Favourite song? Um, Engineers, HP Boys. Yeah, favourite movie? Favourite movie, Lion King. Mm, that's a good one. Did you like the remake? The re loved it. Absolutely <laughs> loved it. <laughs> Beyonce is Nala, yes or no? Uh, yeah, love it. Love yeah. It. yeah. Um, Favourite TV show? TV show, Rick and Morty. What TV show are you binging at the moment? <laughs> um, Regular show. Yeah, that's a good one. Awesome. So I think we'll wrap up there. Um, thank you, Sydney, for taking part Easy. in this. Um, yeah, good luck on the rest of your career. Thank you. Thanks for having me, guys. Awesome. Cut.